San Martin have just launched a new model. This isn't a new variation of an existing model. This is a brand new model that we haven't seen from them before. This is the SN0130. And they're offering it with two mother of pearl dials, a black one and a white one. And as you can see, they have sent me the white mother of pearl dial version to show you. And actually it looks a lot like marble, but it isn't. It's mother of pearl. Now there are some similarities between this watch and the SN0129, which I have featured quite a bit on my channel. An incredible watch by San Martin actually. Probably the best watch they've made so far, I think they have made four, well, they've got four listings, I should say, on the official store on AliExpress. Each listing has a number of different variations and um, lots of versions of that watch now available. It is an NH34 powered GMT, as is this one. And yeah, at a glance, they look quite similar, but there are quite a few changes, actually. Um, this new one, the SN0130, feels a bit more like a dive watch. The other one wasn't exactly a lightweight stainless steel watch, um, and this one isn't exactly heavy, but it just feels and has a bit more of a sort of dive watch look to it, I think. And like the other one, it houses the NH34, Seiko's affordable GMT movement, an office GMT, 21,600 beats per hour, automatic, obviously, hacking, hand wind. Um, yeah, San Martin are making the most of this movement, aren't they? And although I see the occasional comments in the comments section from people saying they're getting a bit sick and tired of NH34 powered GMTs, um, the SN0129 has sold in huge numbers numbers so some of us may be getting a little bit bored of NH34 powered GMTs but there's still a demand for them so San Martin unsurprisingly are going to keep producing them. This case may look similar to the SN0129 but it is different um, just different facets different angles it's a little bit chunkier I think the bezel is definitely different as well. I've said a number of times I'm not wild about all stainless steel bezels but um, this one's got a little bit of detail to it, those um, sort of segmented sections on it um, sort of breaks it up a little bit and I quite like that. Different bracelet on this one as well, it's got a bit of a Grand Seiko or Seiko feel to it, this bracelet, a more premium bracelet, predominantly brushed but there are some beautiful polished facets flanking the center link. And um, yeah, I should expect it's been done really, really nicely. Um, if you want to know how well San Martin watches are made. Um, check out my Rolex versus San Martin video. Um, I shouldn't really need to tell you guys these days. And it's not just me that says it. Um, loads of reviewers now seem to be coming around more and more to San Martin watches and acknowledging that they really do make incredibly well-made watches. And yeah, this is no exception. In fact, their watches are just getting better and better. I mean, the applied indexes on this dial are incredible. I mean, they're so bright, so just beautifully finished. Um, I'll show you the loom degrading at the end of the video. Um, yeah, the hands as well, beautifully cut. All the polished and brushed transitions seem to be really, really nice. The clasp, we've seen this a million times before, so um, yeah, I don't really need to tell you much about this clasp, apart from obviously it has the on-the-fly adjustment system. Screw down case back, screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance. It may have a sort of dive watch silhouette. Um, looks a little bit more like a diver than the SN0129, but still only 100 meters of water resistance. Sapphire crystal, box crystal, a little bit of domage on it, AR coating you know all the good specifications that we've come to expect from San Martin and they never fail to deliver do they screw pins in the bracelet solid end links you know fantastic fit with the end links um yeah another cracking watch I have to say by San Martin and I've no doubt this one will be as popular as the SN0129. And I'm still trying to get my head around this dial. It does clearly state white mother of pearl dial, but um, it's not like any sort of natural mother of pearl finish that I've ever seen. It is very white, very marble-esque, isn't it? Um, it's beautiful though, beautiful, beautiful dial. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it's quite different to the usual sort of mother of pearl finish that we've come to expect, I think. Um, yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this new release from San Martin, another really, really good watch from San Martin. Um, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.